Hi, this is my 3K3Y Ripper setup and video. First off, obviously you need your Blu-ray drive. Then you'll need your 3K3Y power cable, your 60-way FFC, and obviously the main board. You will also need micro USB cable to connect everything. Right, okay. I'll show you how you do it. Other thing you will need, obviously, it's either a standalone uh, Molex PC power supply or a spare one from your board. Okay, so take your power, take your power cable, plug it in to your PC. And that goes in to your Blu-ray drive. Make sure, making sure it's the right way round. Okay. Make a choice around. Okay, there you go. Next up, take your 60 way FFC cable, plug that in to the back of your Blu ray drive. Again, making sure the blue's poking up. Click, click your little thing down. Turn that over. Turn it over, turn it over. Go right now. Take your board. Now I've now you need to make sure it's insulated. I've what I've done is when you get your kit, you'll get a little pad to stick on the back here. But what I've done is I've put mine in a little memory card case, so it just fits in nicely. Again, take your other, take the other end of the cable, that flicks over. Make sure the blue's poked in up. Plug her in. And fold it down. There you go. You see, it got a little blue light. It says it's powered. Right. You could also tape that down if you want, just to hold it. Okay. A bit, bit of tape, bit of insulation tape there. Okay. Right. Now take your micro USB lead. Plug the micro USB end in the ripper like so. On the other side, you take and obviously you plug into a USB port on your PC. There, as you can see, a little red light. That's it, it's detected. On first connection, obviously, you'll get the little um, installer will come up on your, on your PC and that will say installing, and then that will install. But as I've already connected mine, it's already there. So now if you go into device manager, you will see it will say where is it? There look. Sony PS3 system 302R USB device. There it is. That's your that is your Blu-ray drive. Okay. Right then, hopefully you should have your XK or 3K3Y Ripper uh, program installed. If not, you can head over to 3K3Y.com or K3YForums.com and, and find them there. Both sites, but I'll put them in the listing. Okay, on first, when you first call up the program, what you'll get is they'll say here, it will say, no key data, please load your 3D dump. So that is as easy as you click on here. You then will navigate to where you've stored yours. Mine's sitting on my desktop. So if I go down to here. Oh, okay. See, mine's on my desktop. So I go to here. Look all the way down. There you go. Click on it. Click on open. And then it's as easy as that, okay? As I've already done mine, I don't need to do it. Right. Now then, take your take your game. Once it's all done, take your game. 
I have FIFA 11, see, original PS3 game, you'll then insert this into your Blu-ray drive, like so, you see, it takes that, let's go back to your Ripper program, as you can see, PS3 game disc, then it gives the code of the game, which says BLES01059, ready now to rip the game is simple as going rip game that takes you to you can then select the folder that you want to put your game i have proper one there look there you go so i've got xcrop books games and such like you can also change the name so you can either leave it as that as bles then 01059 or you can actually change it because it makes it easy to find it on your when you're navigating the games on your PS3 so I shall now rename that to FIFA 11 okay and then click save here click save and there we go file size 9.29 gigs and then it gives you sex of sections that should take about 18 minutes it's about two gigs two gigs a a minute no that's wrong it'll take about 18 minutes a gig every two minutes rather as you can see the progress bar is slowly going up so i'll let that let that run for a little while obviously i'm going to let you run run for the whole 18 minutes because it's going to be a long a long old time so i'll stop that just let that go up for a little bit and i'll stop that in a second then we'll come back to it as you can see it's going quite well You're it. You, I'll just show you this. There's your ripper. You've got your little blue light showing disc presence. You've got your red light um, there as well. Okay. I guess one thing that is probably worth mentioning though is if you've got a, you need to eject the discs. If you've got a disc left in the disc in the in the Blu-ray, the program won't detect it. Okay, so you need you need to start the Ripper program with a disc out. All right, as you can see, that's quite healthily going up. What we'll do, I'll come back to that near when it's nearly ended. So I'll see you in a few minutes' time. All right, as you can see, progress bar has gone almost all the way to the end. Look, last little tiny bit. Take that in. Okay, you'll just let that run. There you go, rip complete. As you can see, just down there, rip complete. The time it took was 18 minutes 29 seconds. Right, now you've got it like that. You can close the program. The last thing to do is to call up your your games. There, look, you see, look need a folder called games all lowercase and all you do is drag and drop your game which I'm sure you're all fully aware of how to do but I'll just show you anyway okay take that out a little bit drag and drop your game drag it across you either copy or you can paste there you go as you can see it's copying over simple as that and once you've got that all done your games on your hard drive plug it into your three key away you go thanks for watching look out for my other videos